Here, let me help you. No, I, I can do it. No, it's okay. I can help you. No, really. Really, I, I can do it. Come on, it's not a big deal. Let no, me help you. I said I can do Come it. On, it's okay. No! Only two more years till I'm done with my bachelor's degree. Honey, you've got to enjoy the time while you're there. Remember, you're only young once. I know, but I kind of want to get a move on with law school already. These classes take up so much of my time and most importantly, money. Don't you worry about that. Your mom's picked out a second job and she's going to make sure that her baby makes it through law school. Mom, you do not have to do that. I can start working now and plus, I want to help you out. I know, but it's what your dad would have wanted. Well, dad would have wanted a lot of things, but it's just us now. Yeah, well, we'll figure that out later. Um, you want some more wine? What is this, your third glass? Well, your mom's become somewhat of a winaholic since you've been gone. Okay, mom, well, just don't overdo it, okay? I know it's been hard since dad's been gone, but I feel like you should hang out with some friends more. Oh, um, I have been. As a matter of fact, um, your mom's back in the dating scene. Really? Who? Well, it's new. Um, I wanted to wait until I knew him a bit better to say anything, but I think he's a nice guy. Um, he's Latin, runs his own company. Um, he makes really great money. Oh, and uh, he's a little younger than your mom. Well, if he makes you happy, then I'm happy for you. When are we gonna meet him? Looks like now. <laughs> you invited him over? Just for a quick meet and greet. Relax, um, he's just stopping by to say hi. I already told him that you and I were hanging out tonight that you just got back in town. Hey, babe. <laughs> Look at you, like wine, getting better with age. Stop, <laughs> you're too much. Oh, Fabian, this is my daughter Keely. Keely, this is Fabian. Wow, beautiful, just like your mother. Do you mind if I sit and join you? Sure. Babe, give me a Coke. So tell me, I want to learn more about you. You're going to law school, is that what you're doing? Yeah, I am. My dad was my biggest role model and he was a lawyer, so I figured I'd follow in his footsteps and get my law degree too. That's amazing. What field of law are you looking to get into? Um, I was thinking family. Here you go, babe. Hey, where's the cup with ice? Oh, um, I must be a bit tipsy. Let me get it for you. Family law, you said. That's amazing. From everything that your mom has told me, I don't think you'll have a problem getting right through college and breezing past law school. Hey, your mom doesn't want you to know that I know, but I know you guys are struggling financially. I'm not here to replace anyone in your life. Matter of fact, <laughs> I don't think I could. Your dad was an amazing example of what a man should be. But if you ever need money or anything, I don't think it's a big deal if I cut you a check. I can write off college courses, expense them as part of my business. If anything, I save money at the end of the year. You guys have a good talk? Your daughter is as intelligent as beautiful she is. Thank you for the soda. But I can only be here for a little while. I should get going. I'll walk you out. You ready, dear? <sighs> 
So, what'd you think? He's charming, isn't he? How long have you known him, Mom? For a few months. He's amazing, right? He touched my leg when he was leaving. It felt so uncomfortable and creepy. Keely, stop it! I get that you're mad your dad's not here. But it doesn't give you a right to call my boyfriend creepy. That's rude. Did you ever think that it was a culture thing? Like, Spanish people are just very touchy. Like Italians. You're right. I was probably overreacting. I'm happy you found someone that makes you happy. Hey. <laughs> Your mom's asleep. I didn't want to wake her. Too much wine. I was going to take y'all out to go get something to eat, but did you bring some food? Man, this thing is frozen shut. Here, let me help you. No, I, I can do it. No, it's okay. I can help you. No, really. Really, I, I can do it. Come on, it's not a big deal. Let no, me help you. I said I can do Come it. On, it's okay. No! <laughs> What's, what's going on out here? Mom! Your she daughter just hit me in the groin for no reason! She was pressing up against me! No, no, I was helping her open the ice cream tub and then she needed me and she said, Ah, you're not my father! What? Oh, you're the week I gave her a check to help her pay for her tuition and I'm just trying to be a nice guy to her. Did he do that? No, Mama, look! Did he or did he not give you a check last week to pay for your college tuition? He did, but, but I don't want to hear it! Apologize to him! He was touching me, I swear! Why are you doing this? Why? It is in your head. He is not doing this to you. It's not in my head, Mom. Apologize to him! I'm not lying to you! He touched me! Okay, that is enough. You go to your room. Mom, why don't you believe me? Bailey, your dad is dead, okay? And hating Fabian isn't going to change that. You have to believe me. He touched me. <laughs> go, go to your room. Go. I don't understand. He touched me. Believe me. Please. Please. He, he literally touched me. I need you to believe me. About 75% of sexual assault cases go unreported every single year. There's nothing worse than having your own daughter or friend or coworker open up to you about something that they experienced and having you downplay it or dismiss it or even worse, just not believe them at all. I think we all need to, as a society, change the narrative when it comes to believing in women when they open up about such private and personal matters. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you guys get notified every time we release a new episode. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.